section. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, tonight, since it's like after five, um, and me and my sister are bored, so I'm gonna let her do my makeup. She's right here. <laughs> um, since I was gonna do some videos for you guys that I said I haven't done yet, nobody's seen my sister yet on my channel. Um, so I thought I'd bring her in since I've talked about her so much. And I've let her do my makeup before and it's, she's really good at it. So I'm going to let her take a look and just do it. Hi. For everybody. So this is Sam. Hi. I'm not the short, but. Yeah, she's kneeling down. <laughs> and I'm sitting down, so. Okay. I don't know what look she's doing. It's all going to be whatever she wants to do. My sister does makeup all the time. She knows what she's doing, and she does stuff that I don't even do on my face, so it's going to be all new. Right? Okay. Oh, we didn't want the beauty blender. <laughs> no, we didn't. You know what? Uh, okay, that's fine. We'll get there. All right, so I don't know what look I'm going to do on her yet, but I have, I have an idea. I need to wet this first, so I'm gonna do this. Yeah, we're in the bathroom, everybody, so just so everybody knows. The best lighting in the house, so. Sorry. I like slept all day, so I'm tired. <laughs> um, where's your foundation? And. Okay. Oh, I should grab a primer. You don't have one of those either. No. Talk to your people. I'm gonna go get a primer. Okay. I'm more prepared. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing more videos for you guys now that I kind of know what I want to do. Um, I'm gonna be doing some videos with Alan. Um, the next video I want to do with him is our Funko Pops, um, because there's a lot of those on the internet, and maybe there's some that people don't have, um, and that would like to see them, because I do have some exclusives, um, so that'll be coming up to you, with you guys soon, and I'm going to be doing more makeup looks, I just got over being sick, so... There will be more stuff to come, longer videos too. I know I've been posting some short video nail videos for you guys, but um, that's just when I was sick, so you guys didn't have to see me. Um, and that's what I do when I'm bored is my nails. So. Okay, I brought some of my stuff that I might use on you, but we're going to first start out with the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, the Radiance kind. It's going to make you glow. You're gonna beam. Cause Go for I, it. Cause I think I'm gonna do like something like like a glowy look from within, kind of like my makeup today. Okay. And just so you guys know, um, I have not told anybody on my YouTube or nothing like that. I am engaged, and my sister is going to be doing my makeup for my wedding. Um, cause I already promised her she could. So, um, I will be doing a video like before my wedding so you guys can see because I want to do um not necessarily a vlog but like maybe a flipogram of my wedding photos and stuff like that for you guys okay we have the primer on now now we're gonna jump in with your foundation which is the wet n wild photo focus foundation which is the best foundation ever and she's in shade soft ivory because I'm white <laughs> This is the wrong color for you. It doesn't match your undertones. I know. You have warm undertones. This is very yellow. Well, when I bought it. You bought it in the summer. But you were even more warm. So I don't know. When I bought it, Alan's mom bought it for me. And she just grabbed the whitest one she could find. I mean, it's not a bad match, but. No, because usually I've been. Um, 
bronzer on, that one you gave me. Yeah. So it it doesn't look I don't look as white. Yeah. So she's been teaching me stuff too, guys. Well, she always complains when she puts her makeup on that her face looks flat. And I'm like, when you put foundation on, you're canceling out color. So I told I gave her a bronzer by Ciate. Right? Is that the circle uh, one? It's a double one. Oh, it has the, two in it. Oh. I thought I gave you the one from Ciate, too. No. So right now I'm just blending her face in with a, um, a beauty sponge. It's not a beauty blender. The knockoff one. The knockoff ones work better than the real ones. Trust me, I've had a real one. And I will show you guys the up close when we're done. It's just this is easier because I have my tablet, and yeah, it'll just be easier to show you guys when I'm done. But like, since I'm doing like a natural look, I'm not gonna put too much foundation on. And I'm just bringing up her foundation on her eyelids. Shayna, where's your concealer? Found it. It's the only one I have. Yeah. And she's running low. And now I'm just using a uh, Bean Galici brush. It's a concealer one. Just to apply her concealer. Yeah, I'm going to have to squeeze it out because I'm running out. I would have known that. I would have grabbed mine. And I'm just gonna apply it. This is not your color. <laughs> That's the color that Ipsy gave me. They should have given you a lighter one. And then I'm gonna do your eyebrows next. I don't know where I put the cap right there. And another thing is I don't ever apply my concealer with a brush. That's totally new. I usually just dab it on put my fingers on it so well i mean if it's just yeah. sanitary reasons but i mean i just apply your, my your primer with my fingers yeah, yeah he's not dead. Don't <laughs> okay Alan. but but we're just blending 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 till your wrist hurts <laughs> And you see I'm using my wrist that I don't have carpal tunnel in. Yeah. Okay, so we have that the concealer on and now we're gonna set with um my makeup, which this is the Makeup Essentials contour kit, but I'm gonna use the banana shade right in the center to set it. And I'm using one of these AOA Studio brushes and F3 just to set her concealer. Because I'm not going to set your foundation because it's a satin matte one. And I want her to look glowy. So we're just setting everywhere where I put concealer. Okay. So something that she doesn't do is she doesn't contour. I don't contour because I have, you know, really defined cheeks. So I don't do it anyways. Well. But she insists on doing it on me every time she does my makeup. I'm not really going to contour, I'm just going to mainly bronze, but I'm going to go in with... Uh, you have warmer skin, so I'm going to go with this lighter one on the side. And this is just to, you know, give her some color back to her face and also just define it a little bit. Not a lot because you do have pretty prominent cheekbones, but this is just to help and make her look, put color mostly back into her face. Because foundation washes her out. Yeah. Then I'm going to take the beauty blender and just tap over it to disperse some of the color so it's not so intense like she doesn't like. A little harmless contour never hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
And I'm also going to apply blush if I can find one. Do you own any? Yeah, I do have one. Yeah, that's that one. Yeah. And then so, a really red one, and I don't want to wear that really. I'm going to be dipping into the um, Pacifica Coconut Blush Duo, and I'm going to be dipping in this more uh, redder one. But it's not really red, it's like a mauve one. And I'm going back in with the F3. Just putting this more up near the high points of her cheek, kind of like right on top of the bronzer, because we don't want her to look too red because she has like hyperpigmentation. That's why her skin is red. And she's a ginger. There. Just a little bit of blush. My, now my favorite part is highlight. So I'm going to be dipping into the Profusion Contour thing, and I'm going to be taking the lighter highlight shade. I've hit pan. I like it. <laughs> and I'm taking in a AOA Studios F19. It's a highlighting brush. I got most of these brushes off of um, Shop and Say. 10 out of 10 would recommend it. They have really nice quality products for really, really cheap. And everything's a dollar. The only thing I don't like about this brush is it, when it applies your highlight, it applies it kind of powdery, so I always use my fingers, and I just dab through the eyeball, yeah. to go over it a little, just to like blend it in with my fingers. And then I'll take some, mostly just dab it on with my finger, and then like blend it out with the brush. So I'm applying highlight on where you normally do the high points of the cheek, down the center of the nose, and just taking my finger to blend it out and lightly above the cupid's bow and then in the center of her forehead. Just to highlight the high points of her face. Alright, now we're done with her face, so I'm going to set it real fast with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. Just to set all the powders in and then again I'll take a beauty sponge and just dab everything into the skin. Just so it looks more airbrushed. I'll say I, I don't have a setting spray just because I don't own one. Um, when I do get a job, when that does happen, I will be getting some more products to show you guys. Uh, I brought pencil. I have two in there. You do? Yeah. <clears throat> Which one do you use more often? The one that has... No. This one? That's it. Okay, and I would totally recommend the Tarte one because it smells like oranges. Yeah, it did smell good. And it's a really nice setting spray and it's multi-purpose. You can use it oh, um, after you put on all like your moisturizer and stuff. So we're just going in with an eye eyebrow pencil to define out her brows. That need turn so bad. I can pluck them. <laughs> I do not pluck my eyebrows. I cut them. I've been got into the habit of plucking mine and mine look really, really nice. I'm a baby. I don't like plucking it. It hurts. I want to get my eyebrows threaded. You can do it at home. I know. There's a, um, if you guys are into that stuff, uh, threading your, it's just two pieces of string. It's you know, one. The, you tie it together yeah, and you turn, and then turn it. And then, yeah. I'm doing her eyebrows a little different. I'm arching hers a little bit more than she normally does. But I'm just defying her natural. I've been doing baby arches. Not, um, not as high as she usually does hers. but um, My eyebrows have two different phases. They're either like rounder ones or they have an arch. And today they're normal looking. She has kind of thinner eyebrows anyway, so I'm just filling them in, trying to make them look a little more bold. Look at me. Okay. This eyebrow's thinner than your other one. Yeah, I know. I don't know if that's the one I have a scar in. 
Is that the one I have a scar in? I don't know. Well, one of my eyebrows has a scar in it from when I was little, and the hair never really grew back there. So, I think it is this side. need to clean up that eyebrow. So I'm going to clean up her brows with just whatever products is left on the concealer brush and just kind of clean up all the extra product and make the lines look more defined. Just clean it up a little bit. Okay, so let's move on to eyeshadow. What kind of look are you feeling, Shayna? You can do like glowy, so like shimmery, not too much color. If you want to do something like that. I want your skin to be glowy. I don't know what I'm feeling for your eyes. You can do whatever you want. <clears throat> if you hmm. want to do color, you can do color. It don't matter. We're going to start off simple. We're just going to use a transition shade just to put a little bit of color on her eyes before we don't know what we're doing. I'm just going to dip in like a warm crease shade. Most people know the drill. I'm just going to brush it onto your eyes, give you a little bit of color because we don't know where we're going yet, but there's nothing wrong with having just something to build off of. And earlier, I um, primed her lids with just a foundation and concealer. If you like eyeshadow primer, you can apply that first. I don't really like eyeshadow primer. They never really do anything, my opinion. So, however you prime your eyelids, you can do that first. So, so what I just did was just put like a crease shade on her lid. And... Next, I'm going to dip into uh, this American Horror Story eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm going to dip into this uh, red, this orange shade called Voodoo. This one? Just going to... Yeah. Just going to put this on, on her crease too, right with that other shade I did. Now we're just warming up her eyes. I think I have an idea of what kind of look I want. This eyeshadow has a little shimmer in it, which is fine because you're blending it on with a shade that is matte, and it's gonna the shimmer is gonna blend away pretty much is what I'm trying to say. Open. It's pretty. Sorry. Oh, and if you're curious of the brush I was using, this was a. Uh, uh, Ipsy uh, blending brush, and then this is a uh, Bean Galici tapered blending brush. Next, I'm going to dip into uh, the red shade in here called um, Lost Souls. I'm just going to go back in with the one brush I used to put the crease shade down. That shade has some pigment. Yeah, they are very... We're going to put this on the outside of her lid, her crease, I mean, just to add some depth and some... These shadows have a lot of kickback, too. Yeah, they do. But that's fine. A little fallout's fine. I'm honestly... This is kind of like a look I'm feeling for, like, your wedding. Because I'm trying to incorporate, like, reds and oranges. Yeah. Because you want... A red and orange theme. So. Let's say the theme for my wedding is like fall, so like oranges and reds and. Fall, but in the middle of August. Yeah. <laughs> it is in August, around the 25th, and pretty sure that's the day me and Alan picked. Look at me. It's gonna be a pretty wedding. It's gonna be small, but. Be very family esque. Right? Yep. Very small. <clears throat> Is Uncle Joe coming? Yeah. Our crazy uncle. 
I'll say my guest list and stuff isn't done yet. I still have a bunch of planning to do. <laughs> I mean, it's only January. It's the end of January. Yes. Um... Next, I'm going to dip into this deeper red shade called Bellhop, and I'm going to use one of my brushes. I'm taking this AOA 105, F105. It's like tapered, but it's blending, so I'm just going to dip into this red shade, this like deep red, and I'm going to apply this on the outer corner, but like blend it up into her, um, the crease. I like this brush because it has a point so I can put the product down where I want and like turn it on the side and like blend it out. I didn't bring in no fake lashes. <laughs> That's okay, we don't have to do that tonight. No. And the main reason why I think Shana wanted to film this is since I am in charge of like hair and makeup for her wedding. She wanted me to do looks on her so she can get an idea of what she wanted. If I say I'm going to be doing a couple. So I'm, you're going to see me a little bit more. She won't ever be in my nail videos because, well, she can't keep nails on to save her life. I can if I get them done professionally. I'm not professional, so. Okay, so after I place that color down, I'm going to go in with um, an E104, which is a blending brush, and I'm just going to blend out that red shade I put, and actually dip in a little bit of the red on the brush, and just blend it out, just so it doesn't look so harsh and like it was just randomly put there with me. But yeah, I'm still in with that deep red shade, trying to darken it up a little, but not like dark, dark. Yes! <laughs> She's getting too excited, guys. I'm just proud of my work. <clears throat> So I'm going to take this bone white shade in here and I'm actually going to use the brush it comes with which is like crappy but I'm just going to take this bone white shade and I'm going to put it under her brow bone No I'm not, there's black shadow in here so I'm going to take a, a clean blending brush and I'm going to blend out that black. <laughs> I didn't know there was still black in that brush. You know what, we're going to roll with this. I'm going to dip into a little bit of black. The, oh no. <laughs> the Supreme, it's called Supreme. That's funny. And I'm going to tap off the excess a lot because I don't know how pigmented this is. And I'm going to put it gently into the outer corner. Oh, that, that's nice. That's really nice. But I might have to conceal your eyebrow again. Because she, uh, that black smudge is kind of <laughs> there and is ready to be like, hi. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just dipping into the black, tapping off a ton of the excess, and then I'm just putting it on the very outer corner, just smoking it up a little bit, add, adding a little more depth. I'm going to take this curse brush that already has black shadow on it and kind of put it, focus it near the corner. Now you're depositing white, not black. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use that same brush to dip into the black shade again and just put some on the very bottom, like the lash line, just to work with it a little bit more. 
So where we can blend it up and it doesn't look like ashy. I'm going to be taking this Luxie 207 medium angled blending brush and blending out that black a little bit more. I think the last time I used this brush had black on it too. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'd like a dark gray. Look at me. That side needs more black. Okay. So now we're just trying to even, evening the black so it doesn't look retarded. That's an offensive word, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I might trigger someone, Shayna. Yeah. They're gonna sound off in the comments and be like, she said a mean word. Sorry. It's gonna be alright. And I'm going to take the uh, uh, AOA 101. Is that purple? No. And say, <laughs> please don't add another color. <laughs> and just really just blend out the black so it looks one with the look. I need to add more red on this side. Okay. See, and that's okay when you're doing makeup. It's okay to go back and forth. If you blend away color, just put some more on. It's perfectly okay. We make mistakes. Like the black and where the white's supposed to be. <laughs> we rolled with it, though. But I still need to clean up your... <laughs> it's all good. I'm dipping into the orange again. Same brush. Didn't clean off the brush or anything. We want these shadows to like be like all the same color. <laughs> Hope no one tries to come in. They can't. We have the bathroom sealed off. <laughs> They bought Shake and Bake. And Diana bought me Twinkies, but I already ate them. Oh, okay, I see how it is. You want to share with me? You were sleeping. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go in with uh, the Beauty Blender, which it should probably have product on it still, and try to clean up the black smudge under her eyebrow. Are okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and now. Uh, and see, the ends got kind of like kickbacky. I'm going to dip into uh, this like cream shade and try to just blend out the edges all together. Just so it doesn't look so intense. And then I have to apply a little shade under your lash line to blend it all together. That's my brush. You cannot have it. I'm going to be taking this brush. I have no clue the brand or anything, but I'm going to be taking the uh, orange shade and the red shade under her lash line a little bit. Just a little bit. Close your eyeballs, look out, whatever you gotta do. Before I do that, I'm actually just gonna brush off all the excess eyeshadow underneath. Gonna still with that orange, just applying it under her lash line. That tickles so I'm bad. Sorry. <laughs> that then, tickles so bad. I'm gonna take a little bit of the red and just do it on the outer corner up into the lash line. Her lashes tickle so bad when you do that. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to dip into this very last shade in the palette called Blood Man, Blood Moon. It's a black with, like, big, chunky red glitter. It's a beautiful eyeshadow. You really can't see the glitter a whole lot. It's actually, like, a bluish color. But anyways, I'm going to tap off a lot. I probably just tapped off all the glitter. I'm just going to gently blend this near the end to kind of meet the blacks in the corner. <laughs> I'm not gonna apply like a, like a cat eye or anything. I'm just gonna put on some mascara. I'm hold on. before I do this, I'm taking. What got done? I just wanna see what's going.
going on? You here? can't. We're doing a video. Oh. Bathroom. Go to the other bathroom. Okay, so, um, sorry guys for the interruption. I don't want you to see your makeup yet. What do you mean? I have to put mascara on you. Okay. Put mascara on me. Just don't poke my eye out. I'm going to do a lip color and then you can put your own mascara and stuff on. I'm afraid of her poking my eyeball out. I'm afraid of poking her eyeball out. Since I kind of went a little more dramatic on the eyes, I'm just going to uh, take a nude lipstick and then I'm going to put... You don't really have any gloss in there. I have gloss in there. Yeah, glitter. Oh, yeah. What does this look like? Hmm. Now I'm trying to find a lip color. The only stipulation I have on the day of my wedding is I am wearing red lips. That that is a, a must have. So whatever eye color I do must. Is that the red? No, it's black. Oh. <laughs> it's a black metallic. Yeah, I don't want to wear that. <laughs> I'm not going to get the red. I'm too have to get the red, but... I don't know what freaking lip color to pair with this. Maroon and that is very purpley. Yeah. Just so you know. Looking at this really pale nude. It's kind of like grayish, but it's probably too cool for what I want. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry guys, this is taking the longest just to find for a lip color. Sorry. I wish you had like a brown lipstick. I do have a brown. No, like Jeffree Star, like Dominatrix color. Oh, yeah, I don't Like know. a chocolate brown, I think, would look really good. But you know what? We're just going to put on a little bit of gloss, and that's going to be it. Just a little gloss. This nude gloss with some sparkle. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the um, AOA Studios Diamond Lip Gloss and the color Posh. I'm just going to put this on your bottom lip. Okay. Is that really what? That look really pretty with a red lipstick. Okay, well I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. You're done? I'm done. Okay, well, hand me the mascara and my mirror. And then I'll show you guys up below. Or you didn't just. We didn't do nothing crazy with my hair because, well, it's late at night and I'm not doing it. That's not the mascara I want. That's not the mascara. Your white right one's not in here. Huh? Your white right one's not in here. Okay, it's not in here. My one coat is gone. Okay, well I guess I'll use this one. Here. I'm gonna sit back down. I don't know what, what box it's in. I'm just using the LA Bold Lash Mascara on.
She's his wife. Yeah. Okay, there. I'll put that back. I'm going to show you guys up close. In the light. But there we go. Don't mind my little fever blister. It's healing, but... Yeah, it looks good, Sammy. I like it. I honestly would pair this with like a deep red lipstick, but I didn't have one in here. To... And I don't have. I do have a red in here. Not like a deep like. I bought like a fire red. Yeah. But yeah, everybody. Thanks for watching my video, and hopefully you guys like this look. You can follow me on Instagram. Shana will put that in the description. Yeah, I'll link all her stuff in there. So have a good night, everybody. See you next time. Bye.